Hey, what it do, what it do, traders, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, it is a Tuesday. Um, Yesterday, I never placed any trade, but I did miss one trade, which is now with crazy profits. But you know what? It's cool. So currently today, I'm on two positions, and I'm going to update you, you guys on that uh, later on, right? So basically, guys, um, I wanted to touch upon higher time frames, right? So, you know, you probably might have heard me speaking about time frames helping you to escape manipulations and stuff like that but you know when you trade using these high time frames which we are going to also go over to our charts and then i'm going to somehow show you guys what i mean right so basically when you trade using these high time frames there are some things that you look out for guys you don't just be like okay sharp there's my support there's my bullish kind of pattern right there maybe on your daily time frame and stuff like that and then you're like, ah, manipulation has, has already happened. And then you enter. No, there are some things that you look for on that particular candlestick pattern, which I'm also going to be showing you guys. And do keep in mind that the daily time frame, the daily time frame, guys, the daily time frame, bro, the daily time frame, yo, remember, the higher the time frame, the higher the accuracy. The higher the time frame, the higher the accuracy. And for me, I feel like the highest time frame that you can use for your entries is the daily time frame. I don't think you can use the weekly. That doesn't mean you take two plates in a in a year. Like yeah. So the, the the highest time frame I feel like one person can enter on is actually the daily time frame. So you must know that when you get yourself a things to pattern on the daily time frame, right, the win rate is going to be way, way too high. Because remember they had the time frame, they had the accuracy. But you know, let me let me not talk too much. Let me just go and show you guys what I mean. And um, yeah, remember, guys, that I told you that I'm currently on two positions, right? Which is GPP JPY and GPP USD, right? So we missed one trade yesterday, which would be in massive profits, right? So GPP JPY is obviously on profits, as you guys can see. You know, I'm just showing you guys so that you know you you actually know that we we do this for real. You know, it's not just talking, talking, right? So uh, we are on GPP JPY, and also we are on GPP. USD, we basically took uh, uh, buys on this pairs, right, and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm also going to provide with a screenshot of MT4 so that you can see that I took the trade in real life. You feel me? Yeah. So, guys, uh, uh, speaking about um, what uh, uh, our today's topic which is, you know, the higher time frames helping you to escape manipulations, right? So, for instance, guys, let us just come up here, right? Let us just come up here right so we can clearly see that currently i'm on my daily time frame right so you can clearly see guys that i'm on my what i'm on my daily time frame and on my daily time frame here i am going to draw my what i am going to draw my trend line right there and you can clearly see that on my daily time frame right we do have first touch right there second touch right there and we do have a what and we do have a third touch where right there guys right so now you don't just come up here and be like First touch, second touch, there is my uh, 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 daily candlestick pattern. And then all you do, you then buy. And then price moves to the upward or it, or it hits your stop loss and stuff like that. No. There are some things that you basically look out for, guys. Right? So, remember, guys, the daily time frame, if you are a beginner trader and you're just still trying to trade price action, trust me, starting, starting your entry on the daily time frame, is really 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 going to help you because the time frame is way too accurate so now let us say that you actually you, you actually have seen that okay sharp excuse me there's my daily time frame what you then do now is you then go over to your lower time frame guys because remember we say that these high time frames help us to escape manipulation but was there really any manipulation here that is what you have to somehow ask yourself all right was there really any manipulation on this daily candlestick pattern? So now, you then go over to your lower time frame. Your two hour, three hour, one hour, uh, uh, you know, two hour, three hour, one hour, right? And then you see whether there was really any manipulation that happened inside of this daily candlestick pattern, right? Let us just start with the, um, let us just start with the what? Let us just start with the one hour time frame, right? Then let us just draw our trend line nicely. Let us just throw our what? Let us just throw our trend line nicely there. 
there we go right so now this is my one hour time frame guys right this is now my what my one hour time frame and you can clearly see that on the one hour time frame we did have what first touch there right second touch there right and then we did have our, our, our third touch there, which actually gave us a what? Which actually gave us a bullish and gapping king stick pattern. There's our daily time frame right there, right? So now, what we are going to be looking for is we are going to see whether there was any manipulation that actually happened here, right? So if I'm looking clearly here, first touch, second touch, and then we actually come here, and then we actually see that I'm man. Here on our third touch, let me just show you guys clearly. Right, first touch, second touch, and then we did have ourselves a third touch here. We did have ourselves a third touch there. And then we also did have ourselves a what? Our bullish candlestick pattern where? There. So what does that mean? That now actually means that, okay, sharp, we are going to enter there. And where are we going to be putting our stop loss? We are going to be putting our stop loss where? Below our, slightly below our, bullish candlestick pattern right so now we have identified an area where buyers first bought right and then we have identified an area where they might have put their stop losses right so what is it that you then do now what is it that you then do now right let us then look at what then happened bam their stop loss was hit right their stop loss was hit and then what happened next price moved to the upward giving you your what giving you your bullish engulfing kangly stick pattern right isn't it that we have just opened our what we have just opened our daily kangly stick pattern right we went over to our what we went over to our lower time frame to confirm that yes there was any manipulation that actually happened here and if we can just somehow closely look we, we, we can actually see here that we did have our what we did have our first touch there second touch there and now we did have our what and now we did have our third touch right there right there is our third touch right meaning retail traders did enter what did put their buys when they got that king stick pattern right there and then what then happened guys manipulation is real manipulation is real this is no coincidence okay and then what happened you can clearly see that they came they took out the stop losses of what they took out the stop losses of those that entered using that one hour king stick pattern and then price moved to the upward and then it gave us this daily kangly stick pattern right so this now now proves that okay sharp this daily king stick pattern is the one to go because manipulation did happen inside of it and that is where you then take your entry and that is where you then eat and you enjoy your profits simple as it is right you can see on your lower time frame let me just repeat it the last time because let me just repeat it the last time there was manipulation that happened here one first touch second touch right third touch bullish and graphing stick pattern bam they come hit their stop remember guys the first entry signal is the one that is dangerous okay whenever you are entering on these hard time frames look inside of that king stick pattern and see whether manipulation happened or not because the main reason you are entering using this hard time frame is because you want to to escape manipulation so if there is going to be a king stick pattern and there won't be any manipulation then what's the use there has to be manipulation right you have to spot manipulation right just like we did here right so that's it for this video guys i hope you did find value if you did do smash on the like button for me see you on the next one goodbye